Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Topps Gypsy Queen Baseball 10 box full case. Pick your team number three. All cards ship too, which is good news. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into the action right here. If you have a little rooftop next to your name, that means you won that in that team random. Who got, who got last bot mojo in this? Official last bot mojo. The last team picked up straight up. It's going to be, I think, Tyler, maybe? No. I think it was the Marlins, Austin. All right. There you go, Marlins. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. Settle in, folks. Settle in. It's about going to take a little over an hour. Hi, Wade. Um, no, we cannot. Sorry. They're already locked away in those team randoms and whatnot. All right, let's slide these over here. We'll stack these up right over here. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Two on card autos per box on average. All cards ship. So if I miss a uh, a variation, and I'll try to catch. We're gonna we'll be able to catch most of the front facing variations. But if I miss uh, any of the variations, don't worry. You'll get them. Good luck. Like I said, this this will take a little while. So settle in. Actually that time is that first time is wrong on the chat. There we go. Mike Tower, you have a Gypsy Queen uh, playlist for us. Gypsies, Tramps, and Thieves by Cher. There you go. Gypsy Queen by ABBA and any songs by Gypsy Kings. All right, I like it. I wish we could play music during breaks. But unfortunately, strict copyright laws might mute the entire video. Static generated in these packs. Look at that. My electric hands. Jens, what's going on? found out Mike Tower. Good luck everybody. We got Cody Ballinger the star to 250 and we'll sleeve and top load all these before they get sorted out just in the interest of time. We're going to breeze by those. So the most obvious ones are going to be the logo swaps and the no names and I'll even try to do a quick look on the back here and maybe we can find some bazooka backs. None there. Sorry, guys. Yeah. 
And there's our first autograph. It's Corey Dickerson for the Phillies. That's going to be for Chris Walker, who got the Phillies in a team random. That's auto one. There's a no name right here. For the Pirates, that's going to go to Michael Gallucci. Yeah, Jens, that drops tomorrow. That's, that should be a lot of fun. Be a big football day for us tomorrow. There's Travis Arno to 150. That will be for the Braves. He's on the Braves now? It goes to Drew. All right. Hey, Punisher Prime, I'm doing well. Sorry, William. It's not my. That wasn't my call, though. There's Adbert Alzole, rookie auto to uh, going to the Cubs. Johnny got the Cubs in a team random. There's Barrios to Gonna get the hoodie off. It's too warm. Got too warm now. Oh, wait. Let's do this really quick. Vlad Guerrero Jr., Pete Alonzo, and Matt Chapman. All right, next box. Corey Dickerson was a former Tulsa driller, TJ? With Rockies, maybe? All right, next box. Rockies, right, right, right. Forgot that he was with the Rockies. Hey, Rex, what's going on?
Uh, I've not seen Rory check in today, no. And the no name on the front, Adam Hazley. A big leg kick for him. That goes to the Phillies. Why is that, Rex? Why, why did Rory become your best friend today? Eight out of fifty on that Starling Castro. Nationals. Charles. Darby Charles with that. Or Charles Darby, maybe? And we've got Williams Astudio. That goes to Emma and the Twins. She got the Twins in a team random. Correct, yes, TJ. There's Luis Orea is also going to the Twins. And we've got Chris Bryant. Flipped around. Oh, that's the uh, Jackie Robinson Day variation. Nice. That goes to Johnny and the Cubs. Oh, nice, Rex. It's a good pull. I wish you bought personal boxes from us. Oh, Bazooka back. Or maybe you do, I don't know. <laughs> Bazooka back. Those are actually pretty rare. And it's it's Duggar? Do I why do I not RP? Duggar for the Marlins? Rookie, I'm not familiar, not too familiar with him, Austin, but there you go. A relation of Steven Duggar, maybe? I think they spell their last names a little differently. That's Duggar with an E. Duggar? Oh, you have. Oh, okay. Zion Prism, not too bad. And we've got Williams Astudio. Again, this time black and white for Emma and the Twins. Got him in the team, Random. Forty-nine out of fifty on that one. So Astudio 
And Astadio were your two autographs. It's an Emma personal box right there. Robert Duggar. Gotcha. There's Dee Dee, Shane Bieber to 150, and Noah Syndergaard getting the, uh, getting the old Tommy John. I wonder if this if the baseball season gets any shorter, or God forbid, canceled. I wonder if uh, I wonder if we and we discussed this the other other day too. I wonder if there'll be more teams, maybe convincing some of their pitchers. Hey, now now's probably a good time for that surgery. You know, we know it's been a bit of a mild issue. Could be a short season. Could be a weird season. And miss most of the season anyway, you know. Why not? Why not just get that surgery knocked out now, and we'll see you next year when we have a full season. I wonder if we're going to start to see that more often. I mean, you can't do, get too cute with surgery, you know what I mean? But, And I don't know the medicals of all these guys, but I mean, I wonder if, it, if there's like a situation where if it was a full season, if maybe Noah Syndergaard would have been maybe babied a little bit on pitch counts and inning counts and kind of have him go through the season, maybe try to rehab it instead of surgery it. Maybe in this situation, you're just like, well, a chunk of the season is gonna be gone anyway. Thanks, Rex, yeah, I'm, I'm glad we're still able to do this as well. We're lucky, we're one of the lucky ones where we can still, still kind of break. Now TJ going off what he knows, saying old the old commish is considering a 140 game schedule and or or considering double headers with teams. I could see a lot of double headers. Right, I agree. Yeah, Tommy John if only if there's a already a tear though. But there may be situations like that where, where they can be like, well, we can just we can just lock it down. Mike Tower is saying he, he was listening to the radio and they were, they were asking, what, how many games do you need to consider this a valid season? Well, I think it'd be a valid I think it'd be a valid season if they just play in general. The autograph is Michael Baez, on-card auto for the Padres. Right, Michael Baez? Yeah, Michael Baez. William Clayton with the Friars. I mean, I'd like to see... I mean, I don't know. There, I mean, there could be so many variations, and and this the COVID situation is, is still. You know, I mean, it's hard to predict. It's still it's still really up in the air. Randall Grichuk will go to Richard Zitterman. So I'd guess, I guess I would like to see at least like a hundred. Hundred games would be nice, but it, it, short of that, I like Sean's idea. I thought of this too. I'm with you on this too, Sean. At worst, you can just play divisional games. Each team could play each other in the division like seven games, home and away. It's a logo swap there.
and that's Miggy for the uh, Tigers, Tyler Brenner. Got the logo swap up there. So my, I hope I hope they're able to get some some kind of season in. I mean, Scott Boris is floating the idea of of play all the way through like December and then play in warm weather climates and neutral climates and stuff like that. That'd be wild. Bobby Bradley autograph for Peter Eng and the Tribe. I do vaguely remember Ellis Burks. Now you've made James feel old. Wasn't he, wasn't Ellis Burks on uh, on the Red Sox too? Yeah, I think I remember Red Sox edition of Ellis Burks. Tyler Brown, are you saying the first three weeks double headers, like each game every day? Yeah, I'm with I'm with TJ. I don't I don't think baseball would do that. Nice Andy Koufax. So that's a three cards three hundred one and up are the base short prints. This is also a no name too, so a short print on top of a short print. So that's for the Dodgers, Tommy. With that one. There's a black and white Brock Holt. Red Sox, yes. Yeah, center field for the Red Sox, says Patricia. And apparently Rex is saying that his son is, uh, is in baseball, trying to get into baseball. Uh, Mothro is asking, no crowds or limited crowds. Yeah, I, I think there's Brock Holt black and white to 50. I think that's going to be pretty... Oh, there's are two autographs right there. Yeah, I think that's going to be... I think they're gonna have like half capacity crowds probably, just to just just to be completely safe, or as safe as possible, but still have fans in the stadium. There's JD Martinez to 99, so I can definitely see that happening when and if games start up again. Now the other question is, in more heavily impacted areas like Seattle, New York, what do you do with those teams? So you have to think about that too. I think the early early thoughts are uh, I think the early thoughts are maybe you keep them at their spring training camps. Seattle stays in, in their Arizona camp. Mets are in what, Port St. Lucie or something? Are they still there? Yankees are somewhere in Tampa Bay. Somewhere in Florida. So you keep those New York teams in Florida and they travel there. Yeah, it was a good idea, Mothro. I mean, I think that's that's been an idea that's been floated for all the sports. Golf, do you do you, limited limited or no people? I think they've been saying that in basketball too. They they were initially thinking of maybe doing the NCAA tournament with no with no crowds before they shell that idea. But yeah, that's 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 a that's one of the ideas to kind of at least get some live sports going again. Even if it's at the sacrifice of, of no or limited fans. Yeah, it's it's wild. I mean I mean so TJ for, for for you guys, for the Tulsa drillers, you guys are it's just it's you guys are just in limbo, right? 
for the minor league guys. Also, oh, TJ saying from what he's hearing, they're talking about teams reporting to their quote city in the minors and picking up spring training in those cities. Gotcha. So the drillers would report to Tulsa and still train. Right. I mean, every club has to pivot in a different way because they're just, uh, you know, every city has different things going on and every state has different rules and whatnot. So I think that's the, one of the biggest complications. Biggest complications of figuring out how to restart the league-wide thing and still be compliant with state and local rules and all that sort of stuff, so. Taylor Ward for the Halos. That's going to go to Richard Zitterman and the Angels. Rex is suggesting they can only play games with fans that have recovered from COVID. 19. Okay. All right. So if you bring in like a doctor's note that says I've tested positive and then in subsequent tests have tested negative. There's Michael Brantley at 250. They're good. You can come in. Yeah, that's, that's the sort of... I heard that story too, James. that the cameraman filming in the jazz locker room, and this was, correct me if I'm wrong, James, but this was like four, four, three or four, five days maybe, before the NBA started canceling games, um, got corona, got the COVID-19, and is now, is now in a coma, so... Which is, I don't know, if you're like Rudy Gobert, you're not feeling too good about that, right? All right, there's Shed Long. And that's the logo swap right there for the Mariners. That's going to go to Paul. Yeah, well, yeah, it is a sad situation. I mean... And everyone, I think, probably has heard about Carl Anthony Towns' mom, right? I think she's currently... I've not heard any updates since yesterday, but I think she's in, like, a medically induced coma due to complications from COVID-19. And that's super sad, too. There's Alex Young for Emma, who got the Diamondbacks in a team random. I think both of your team random teams, Emma, have hit. So, it, I mean... You know, I know we, we every time there's a celebrity who tests for it, you know that that gets on the news too. This is very real, ladies and gentlemen. Got to be, gotta, gotta keep as clean as possible. Stay indoors as much as possible. I mean, we haven't had the public in here forever. I mean, essentially, we're. This could very well just be a private home, for us here. We're being as safe as possible and cautious as possible here. And no name for the A's. That goes to Chris Garosi. And even here, we're just we're constantly washing our hands over and over again. Out of an overabundance of caution. Uh, no, William, you cannot. We don't do the switching thing. I think that kind of creates a sort of sort of accounting sort of something to do with the website. It just gets it gets it confusing. But you can ask for a refund and then get those other spots. But we just can't switch. I'm afraid. We end up screwing something up whenever we do that anyway. It's like, did we put those spots back? We did, we didn't. All right, 
right, the Chrome cards. We have not seen an auto in any of these. There's Paul DeYoung. There's Gavin Lux. Nice. And there's Pete Alonzo. 31 out of 50. Our business is near Jazz Bezo. Did we get a second autograph out of there? Yeah, Alex Young and Taylor Ward. Um, no, well, it's it's pretty quiet on the streets. If you remember, on any sort of given day, you guys hear sirens all over the place, right? Because we we have a fire department right down the street. But you can see, you can tell that it's generally pretty quiet because there's just far fewer people out on, the, out on the roads. So yeah, so a lot, lot of, lot of people staying home. Thankfully, we have a Vons near us, and a CVS. So those are open, but the business is inside there. I think there's a Jamba Juice and a Panda Express. I think they're only doing like takeout orders. I think the the pet store is closed. There's a bank across the street. Um, you know that I think have like limiting the amount of people that could be inside at once. I don't know. I think the tire store and the window tinting store next to us, I think, are closed. Maybe not the tire store. Maybe I th I think you can still. I think auto repair is still a still a sort of essential service so I think they're 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 opened up uh, no I didn't Mothra what was your what was your baseball post I've heard about Drew Brees five five he, he what he donated five mil to New Orleans yeah he's a pretty good guy I've heard of him Yeah, a lot, lot of unemployment, John. I saw that news too. It's crazy times. I mean, that's why, you know, we definitely here at Jaspies feel feel pretty lucky that we're still that we're still able to do what we do. I know a lot of lot of businesses around LA who just need to go online to survive have just still been fulfilling online orders and whatnot. So everyone's kind of chugging along as best as they can amid all this craziness. Yeah, I'm glad too, John. I know that's not a that's not a luxury that everyone else has, but I'm, I'm still glad that we're able to. Uh, I mean, we're we're still small enough. Our there's there's no more than a few people in the store at any given time. We don't share a building with anybody. We kind of we have our own standalone building and everything, so. So we're, I mean, we're essentially going from one private, one private residence to the other. Joining minor league teams together? How would that work, Mothro? No, I don't think that would work. Just because there's different levels of baseball and then... Players get paid in different ways if they're at different levels and all that sort of stuff and combining other teams and state that would just that sounds like a nightmare. Alright, that's a logo swap. And I think that's a player's weekend. Brian Rounds for uh, the Pirates, Michael Gallucci. And there is Bubba Starling to 150. 
It's for the Royals. It's going to go to Chris Parent. TJ saying Inception down to five. I think Mothra, the idea is to try to try to attempt to contain as many players on the same area as much as possible if we are if we are to reignite live sports, right? I think mixing teams around and stuff like that just doesn't make sense. TJ saying five it's five left in Inception. Ladies and gentlemen, go to jazbeescasebreaks.com for that. Also, speaking of TJ, I think most of you know that, that he is director of merchandise over for the Tulsa Drillers, so he's we got a little a little bit of inside baseball from him. If you collect minor league stuff, take a look at the chat. Right there, there's a special Jaspi code that he made for us. Cool Whit Merrifield for Chris Parent. So, minor league teams, unfortunately, do not have, you know, are much more dependent on the game day revenue. There's Walker Buter 250, so I know they're holding their breath, hoping that live play can happen again. They need that game day revenue. Big, the big clubs do too, but they get so much TV money that that they can they can try to make that work. But independent or uh, minor league teams are still independently owned, and they're just affiliated. That's what they're called affiliates, right? They're just only affiliated with big clubs. So there are independent owners who may may not really be like you know billionaires or anything like that. You know, not not like big hedge fund groups that are buying baseball teams, you know. It's just somewhat wealthier business folk or whoever, you know, they're buying minor league teams, but so yeah. So that's a small way to support them. And a regular custom of ours too. Obviously TJ's been with us for a long time. There's Will Smith, Braves edition, pitcher Will Smith. Logo swap for Drew. Ooh. And TJ saying, if you get something and you use the code, there may be some extra stuff thrown into the box. All right. That's awfully nice of you, TJ. Thank you. So I know a lot of you like to collect minor league stuff. So if you don't have anything from, from Tulsa in your collection, it might be something to add. And there's Jordan Yamamoto, your second autograph for Austin Caruso and the Marlins. Thanks, TJ, by the way, for that. I think that one's numbered. The Beau Bichette, Richard Zitterman Blue Jays. 23 out of 250. Nice. Nick Senzel, Clayton Kershaw Blue to 99, Manny Machado. All of these chrome ones will be sleeved and top loaded too, just in the interest of time. Kind of breezing by those. How am I doing on time? I think I'm running behind a little bit. Sorry. Due to due to social distancing rules, we can't have don't have Nick Jaspi here to help me pack stack this. Okay, let's keep going. Yep. Well, I got 20 minutes to do, 20 minutes to do uh, another one, two, three, four, five boxes. Well, I actually, so I did a half in 40. I gotta pick this up a little bit. And I will, I should have said this at the beginning of the video, damn. I, there will be a recap video at the end. Watch, someone's watching the replay 
and they go through 40 minutes of this and then they're like, oh, now you tell me there's a replay. I could have just fast forwarded to the end. If you're watching live, you're stuck with me. But if you are watching the replay on YouTube, there will be an autograph and, uh, and, and some notable variation recap at the end. Not all the variations, but notable variations at the end. Not anymore, Sean. Not anymore. We want to be we want to be safe and healthy. <laughs> Paul says due to social distancing rules, told the wife to go upstairs. Honey out of an abundance of love. I'd like you to go upstairs. I'm just looking out for you. No, I'm not going to do a Chrome card recap. Unless I pull like a one of one. <laughs> hey, Ocean. Um, yes, I, I know that's not the most important news in the world considering... All that's going on, James. But yes, I have been looking up a lot of uh, <laughs> a lot of contract stuff. I think it is very possible that if there's a shortened season, or God forbid, no season, yeah, Mookie Betts could possibly spend the remainder of his time. He could spend not a single game with the Dodgers and then be eligible for free agency. But I think that's still a decision being talked about. So there's that Collins right here for the White Sox. Jason with that one. But yeah, I, I think there could very well be that situation. I know. Sean, Sean is gloating. Well, I don't know. It's very weird, Sean. You're an Angels fan. There's really no rivalry there. At least not none that I consider. But uh, but yeah, I mean it's Sean and everyone else. That that that's a that's a strong possibility. There's Ryan O'Hearn to 150. Anyone who's on a a one year deal or whatever, you know, could could spend the one year not playing a single game for their respective teams, and then they then they move on again to free agency. What kind of sucks is possibly players who are on the last year of their contract who are trying to get you know have a good final year of their contract to get uh to go into free agency like that that has been you know maybe players can lose that opportunity too but i think that's something that the that the league and the players association will have to come to an agreement on obviously the clubs don't want them to walk Ooh, Fernando Tatis red. And Nomar Mazzara. Not sure, maybe Jackie Robinson variation, something like that. If yeah, so once again, if you're if your ownership, you're like, hey, uh I'd love for that not to count on their contracts. But if you're a player, obviously, you don't want to be hamstrung for another year. So I kind of get both sides of it. As a fan, I'd like Mookie to stay another year. So this Fernando Tatis is out of 10. Nice, low number. 2 out of 10. William Clayton with the Padres. But yeah, very strong possibility. This guy won't even, won't even suit up for the Dodgers. And the Dodgers still lose that lose out on that trade. Is, is this the armed forces variation? How can you tell? Usually they're they're wearing some sort of camo on here, but I guess I could look at the code on the bottom. I think it ends in four two. My 
a variation guide. I had that open. Here's a variation guide in the chat for everybody. Yeah, 42 is base. So I don't know why that was flipped around. Maybe it was just trolling me. Hmm. Can't really zoom up too closely, but I don't know. Well, just in case it's something else, we'll just set it aside right there. Yeah, Chris Bryant doesn't win arbitration, but maybe still does in a way. And still gets to hit free agency in the time frame that he wanted. There's Logan Allen for the Tribe. That'll be for Peter Eng and the Indians. That'll be for Peter once again. Yeah, I think the Armed Forces one will be, yeah, it's super short printed, and I think it's pretty obvious. They're wearing camo somewhere, either on the hat or in their jersey or something like that. It's a black and white parallel. No bazooka back. Bazookas are kind of rare, too. We didn't see any in the first case. I think we saw two or three in this second case, and then one in this one. Did we get shorted an autograph? I think we did. Unless that Zach Collins, I don't know, I've lost track. Maybe an auto in here. Jose Abreu, Acuna Jr. to 150, and Will Smith. warm in the studio this time of day because the uh, oh, the sun sets that way and it comes through my window here it's a, a wee bit toasty and then it gets cold really fast now remember ladies and gentlemen all cards ship so when you get these cards everyone should whether you hit big or not everyone should get a stack of something I would think Every team should get a, uh, at least a small stack of something. It'd be worth kind of double-checking the backs of these. And in the in the bottom right-hand corner, there are these tiny little numbers right there, and those will indicate uh, what variation they are, if any. And if you use the link that I dropped in the chat not too long ago, then you then you'll see a uh, and you'll see all the the code numbers there too. Oh, did I miss? Well, everything ships. So as long as that card was you saw it on camera, it'll go. TJ's reporting that there's one team left in Inception. Nice. So, 
We've got a couple small breaks to do after that. I am definitely going to need to take like a, a quick breather after this. Um, but there are a couple uh, breaks after this. Then we'll go through some orders and we'll see who's been filling up that inception. And then we'll do that. And then whatever else we can get into after that, and so on and so forth, all the way up until 10 o'clock Pacific. It's a high number short print. Mm -hmm. Was very well rewarded. Ooh, Zion. Rated rookie signature. Nice. Shed Long autograph. Paul Hutchins and the Mariners. Looks like Dansby Swanson, right? Drew Panther with Dansby? Yes. That's Vlad Guerrero Sr. Not only is that a uh, base short print, right? Anything 301 and up. It's also a no name on the front, too. Nice. That goes to the Nationals. Darby with that one. There is Tim Anderson for the White Sox to 150. What's this? Ooh, that's pretty cool. Jesus Lazardo autograph, but in this mini sort of format. What is, what is this called? 66 out of 99. Yeah, mini rookie autograph card. That's the first one I've seen. A's, Chris Garosi with the Athletics. There's Isan Diaz to 250. Thank you. 
of 250. Conforto, Adalberto Mondesi to 150, and JT Real Muto. Yeah, I'm authorized. I mean, I think it's safe to say that uh, it's safe to say that almost every industry is gonna is gonna hurt. The entire economy is hurting after this. I think you can easily suggest that everyone's gonna hurt, but we'll get through it. I know, Kevin. Jason just Jason Jaspi just showed me that Zion. Raw, yeah. I mean, if you wait for the market to kind of kind of strengthen up again, hopefully that person can be patient enough to do that. Um, then yeah, I mean, it could, it could go. It could go for. It could go for a lot, and uh, it could really go for a lot, and then get it graded. Even more than that. Uh, Tyler, do the value of cards go down after this? No, not after this. After, I'm assuming you mean the COVID-19 pandemic. It's down now. I mean, if you, if it's a good time to be a buyer. But after, you know, after this pandemic is somewhat under control... And we get, especially when live sports starts to come back, then I think it'll st it'll it'll start to go back up again. Just like the stock market, stock market's down a lot, you know, but slowly but surely, that'll, 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 it should build itself back up too. Dom. Uh, I have to say no. I have not pulled any decent Rockies cards. Not yet, anyway. We still have three boxes to go. What are prices of what, Mothro? I mean, my, I think it's safe to say, in a very broad sense, a lot of... Uh, prices of a lot of stuff is going up. Gas is cheap. You know, even gas is cheap. Things are going to go down a lot. A lot. A lot of people unemployed. A lot of people not spending. A lot of people can't go anywhere. Plane tickets are cheap too, you know. But eventually, I think once once live sports start to come back, and at least for our industry, hobby wise, you know, things will things will kind of creep back up. It's gonna. It's the travel industry that's gonna get. That's going to take the longest to recover, I think, is what people seem to be saying. I think restaurants and bars are going to make a killing once every once people can go back out. I think people will be so eager to go back. Rangers No Name goes to uh, Kyle. This name is actually Jonathan Hernandez, but No Name on the front. But we'll get through it, ladies and gentlemen. We'll get through it. Well, at least for us out here, Mothra, the prices still hasn't. Price of eggs and milk still pretty, uh, pretty similar. Yeah, that makes sense, TJ. TJ said he booked a cruise for the first week of June and then looking at a year before you can even reschedule it. Yeah, that industry is going to get hit the hardest. The cruise industry probably the worst, right? It's travel, travel and entertainment. I mean, movies will, the movie theaters should kind of 
should get back into the groove of things because movies will start pouring out again. You know, I'm assuming people will. Pe I'm assuming people will want to fly to Vegas once the strip is back open. I think major resorts. I think will do okay. Smaller hotels in smaller areas. That I don't know. That's gonna be a tough one. You know, airline industry should do okay. I would think people wanting to fly again. There you go. There you go, TJ. Brendan McKay. Logo swap autograph. That's the guy that TJ was looking for. There you go, Sean. That's a good idea. Book flights with points now with open cancellation policies. Yeah, if you plan ahead, you can get some really good deals. If you're lucky enough to be in the position to do that. Out of 99, too. There you go. That could be. That's a, that's a two way player, Otani. Kind of like Otani. You're welcome, TJ. Thanks for getting in. Where are all these? Why are all these like this? It's Chris Bryant to 250. Zach Collins. I'm not sure if the just a regular 42 base. All right, see you, boss man. All right, there's Matt Tice for the Angels. That's also a logo swap. Yeah, it's the first Brandon McKay we've seen, by the way, TJ. And we got Matt Beatty autograph. Matt Beatty auto for Tommy and the Dodgers. He's 45. That could be confused with the Jackie Robinson one, but that's Matt Beatty, 45. Yeah, I like Matt Beatty a lot too. There's been a couple Indians hits, Peter Ng. Who did we get for the... I feel like there was a... like there was an autograph, right? Here's Altuve, Altuve again. This time to 50 for the Strohs. That'll be for Anthony, and then we've got Starling Marte. Two boxes to go, almost there, boys and girls. Stay on target, almost there. Sub AP. I think Bobby Bradley, right, James? Does that ring a bell? Bobby Bradley autograph. Maybe some parallels too, some couple variations perhaps. I'm gonna do a autograph and an autograph recap, plus the variation that we were able to spot early on. So if you just wait a little bit, I'll do that. Do that variation. Yeah, Mothra, it's going to... I'm not sure how things are going to kind of reopen. I'm sure it'll be be in stages. I feel like public places like malls and stuff like that, those might be... I don't know, those might be one of the last places to open. Unless they're able to restrict capacity somehow. 
you know, same with live sports venues, I think. If not, I mean, they may roll with empty arenas and stadiums from the get-go and then slowly introduce, like, and slowly increase capacity. Yeah, you too, Peter. Hopefully everyone's staying safe out there. Wash your hands. Now is a good time to wash your hands. Go, go, go run to the restroom really quick. Wash those hands. And EJC, who's in the ticket industry, believe it or not, judging from his username, uh, he's in the industry. He's thinking event, events won't start until July. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how MLB handles call-ups, too. service time issues, et cetera, et cetera. All right, we're almost there, folks. Second to last box. Listen, I know we're in some crazy times, ladies and gentlemen, but as long as we're safe, stay clean, you know, avoid going out for a little while, and we'll, we'll all get through it together. Oh, there's a Trevor Story logo swap for Dominic. I think that's one of the first... Big variations that we've seen for the Rockies. Yeah, stuff stuff like update maybe maybe a little softer this year industry wise. Yeah, so yeah, I mean there'll still certainly be certainly be an impact for us too. There's Austin Riley for the Braves. That goes to Drew in the Bravos. That is Evan Longoria. Right. His arm was in the way. Still looks weird without a Rays uniform. Tyler Brenner with the Giants gets the no-name Longo. Pedro Martinez, no name. That's uh, for Tommy and the Red Sox. So it's the base short print, 301 and up, plus the no name on the front. And you'll also get the Michael Chavis as well to 250.
And we've got Smith Jr. D of. And it's Dwight Smith Jr. outfielder. For the Orioles, that goes to James. James on the board. It's the team that you got in the team random. Thanks for giving that a shot. We got Jose Rodriguez, logo swap for the Angels, Richard Z. All right, we did it. Last box coming up. After these three cards right here. We got Austin Meadows for the Rays. We got Xander Bogarts to 99. Kyle Hendricks for the Cubs. Good luck. Hi, Logan. How are you? All right, last box, last couple autographs. Good luck, everyone. Maybe some more, some, some more sweet, sweet variations here too. Bobby Ray to 
There's the Pete Alonzo that Tyler Brenner was looking for. And a parallel, too. Nice. There's Pete saying, I got it, I got it, I got it. Come on, pitcher. Don't you know, Come on, pitch. You know, Don't get off the mound. 120 out of 1. Don't do a pitch. I got it. That's what he's saying right there. He's like, I don't need you to be an athlete. I got you. There you go, Tyler. Manual class to 250. Got Tony Gwynn. Nice Tony Gwynn for William Clayton. Base short print also to 150. Remember, all cards ship. And be worth double checking those numbers on the back too when you get a stack of these cards in the mail just to make sure we didn't miss any parallels. Is that it? There it is. It's Jordan Yamamoto for Austin Crusoe and the Marlins. Last spot mojo with the last autograph. No, James, they don't, they don't make players like Tony Gwynn, that's for sure. Guys who uh, put balls in play. Don't strike out a lot. Hit some, uh, hit, hit some gappers, doubles into, the, doubles into the gap. No, yeah, baseball has certainly changed. And the last sort of major variation that we're, we're, we're e more easily able to spot is for Chris Garosi and the A's. That's a no-name Chris Davis right there. And let's see what we have here. There's Aquino, Gary Sanchez to 150, Zach Granke for the Astros. All right, let's do a quick recap. This is the recap of the autos and whatever other variations we were able to spot a little more easily. There's that Pete Alonzo. <laughs> Tyler got so excited over the Pete Alonzo that he accidentally threw his phone across the room. There you go. That's worth it. This mini auto was pretty neat too. The Jesus Lazardo mini. That Tatis Jr. was pretty cool too out of 10. I think that's the first red out of 10 I've seen. And. First autograph was Corey Dickerson. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Excellent work. Thanks for filling this up. Uh, I don't think we have any more Gypsy Queen available for uh, group breaks, but I know Jason still has a handful of boxes left for personals. So if you go to the uh, jaspies.com and our Instagram live stream, at Jaspies Breaks, he's live right now. You can go grab a box of Gypsy Queen from him. And uh, we can do more group breaks together here on this channel, jaspiescasebreaks.com, with me, Joe. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.